Hello everyone and welcome back to Tabs. Yes, totally accurate battle simulator. And today we're actually looking at the new legacy update that came out the other day. And uh, yeah, so as of me recording this, I think the legacy update came out like two days ago. Uh, so I've actually been really excited to play it and uh, let's just jump into it, I guess. Alright, so basically for those of you who don't know what this legacy update is, the legacy update basically adds a, a whole ton of like units and fighters that were originally meant to be in the game or were in the game that actually got taken out. And uh, basically they're all here right now and they're just all chilling out here. So yeah. Um, so let's kind of start off I guess with... Uh, do -do -do. I guess the peasant. Oh, I remember this. So in the medieval faction... I think it was, yeah, I think it was the medieval faction that used to be a peasant, but I guess they got removed, which, yeah, now makes sense, which is why it's in the legacy faction. Uh, so, there's just, I guess, legacy faction here. Um, let's just, I guess, put a couple peasants down. Let's see what these peasants kind of do. I think they just fight, like, normal units, like how they used to. Oh, shit. Oh. Also, I'm, I'm noticing that um, the legacy update is adding motion blur when there is no motion blur to my game. Um, okay, kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Um, let's check out. So, the whole big thing about this legacy update is that you can unlock units by looking around and trying to find them. Like how you would do normally for like the secret units. So like, uh, I think this is one of them. If I look at this. Secret unlocked poacher. So basically, that's a part of the whole legacy update. Um, so basically, we have to discover things. Now, if I remember correctly, back when this map was around, you used to actually be able to walk into the church and visit the church. Um, there's a hole right here, so maybe we can still do that. We're not actually able to walk into many buildings nowadays, so this would be cool if they added this in. Whoa. Ooh, what are you? Pharaoh, okay. This episode, I'm gonna try to unlock as many secret units as possible, as many legacy units as possible, instead of, you know, just trying to test out like two or three. Uh, I wanna unlock as many as possible and do as much testing as possible. What's this thing? Uh. What are you? The blow dart, okay. I don't remember that one. I don't remember most of these, honestly. Uh, I think one that I know used to be in the game was like Thor or was gonna get added to the game So we should probably try to see if maybe there is a Thor. What's this thing? Things glowing right here What is that? Oh my god, are those punching gloves? Oh, is that the oh The super boxer Okay, that's cool. I remember that one actually. I know about that one. That's crazy. Okay So they really are adding like all the like old slash like not used units to this game that's crazy um there's another statue here there's this statue which was the poacher right is there another statue like this let's see here no nah, sadly there doesn't seem to be another statue like that but hey i mean it's worth trying to see what's this over here that on your what oh i was right there is Thor in this yeah this is definitely something all right good uh just have to get really up close to it door yes okay so we got a couple secret units let's see if we can find any more real quick what's this thing Wizard. Oh, okay, that's cool. There's a wizard in tabs now. All right, so let's try to find at least one more and then we'll start testing more units out and doing stuff.
Alright, so currently we have a quite a few quite a few legacy units actually in our disposal. Um now we still seem to be missing a few. I don't know what these two are. It, that seems to be a tank. And then there's a shadowy unit and then there's a double boxer. I don't even know what these are, but let's um I guess just let's just start doing this. So but I guess let's just start testing. Uh so currently we have Dora, which I really want to see what Dora does. And let's put him up against the wizard. Because I just found that. Actually, Thor is actually way more expensive. So let's try to do like two wizards. That's more evenly matched. And let's just start the fight. What do the wizards do? Oh. They, ca they cast like free spells and stuff. Also, um, they take loads of damage. Like... Dory is just over here like hitting them over and over with their with his hammer and they're just like taking all the blows. Alright, let's try a one-on-one -on -one wizard versus Thor because that seems a little too unfair kinda. Wizard just kinda crazy though. Okay, so one Thor beats a wizard, but one Thor cannot beat two wizards. That's kinda weird, but eh, whatever. Um, up next, let's try the super boxer. What the hell? What? What is that's? That's a hundred thousand. I don't think I've ever seen anything in this game cost a hundred thousand. What the fuck? Okay, so I, I assume Dora's is just gonna get demolished in this. What? Damn. Okay, Thor got wrecked. Okay. Um. Let's put two wizards on Thor's side. And... I don't know, what does the chariot do? Oh wow, that is a huge unit. Oh, it's a wobbly horse. It's a derpy, derpy... Looking horse, okay. Uh, the super boxer is actually having issues with the chariot right now. The super boxer just beat the chariot, and now the super boxer just absolutely demolished the two wizards. Okay, we need we need more. All right, we need more. So, uh, what else do we have to play with currently? Um, I guess the pharaoh. The pharaoh is actually really cheap, so let's just put two pharaohs, I guess, and um, uh, I guess some boxers, because I actually found the normal boxers besides the super boxer. And, um, yeah, let's see what these guys end up doing to the super boxer. So, the chariot goes in, and it just absolutely... Oh, the pharaohs just kind of stop. Kind of just make the super boxer stop a little bit. But yet again, clean sweep by the super boxer. Absolutely not even fair. Oh my lord. Okay, so... Ah, uh, what does blow darter do? Let's put like, I don't know, three blow darters. And you know what? Just for the hell of it, let's put some more chariots down. Because I want to see more horses go into battle. I feel like that's fair. Right here. Okay, cool. And let's start this once again. Alright, so the three chariots are just going at the super boxer. The Pharaoh is keeping the Super Boxer, I guess, put in place, kinda. I don't really know what's happening. Uh, Pharaohs are going into fight, which is stupid. The Pharaoh should not be doing that. Um, Thor is kinda just going in. The Wizards as well. I mean, do they have this? Can Red Team actually win? No, absolutely not. Because I don't think they can. Yeah, Super Box is just gonna demolish. Oh my god, the Blow Darters actually did it! Blow Darters got the W, oh my lord. I mean, sure, the other guys did a lot, but they died, so. Wow, Blow Darters are kinda. 
Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. So now with that, I have an idea. Let's let's just go ahead and delete all of this. And let's just say let's make this a fair match. <laughs> at least in the or in the money sense, at the very least. Okay, 143 is all I'm comfortable with placing right now. Let's back up a bit, actually. So theoretically, there's 143 blow darts all shooting at... Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no, never mind. This might not have been that fair. Or maybe it was? I don't know. Super box, the super box is just getting knocked down. Like, they take like a half a second break. Oh my god, that was a demolish. Okay, that was a sweep. Of course, when you put 143 units together, it should be able to take down a singular unit. But I mean, like, that was just not expected because the money difference actually is kind of insane. This is 100,000. This one super box here is 100,000. Versus 143 only come out to be like around like what 20 30,000 Or 40,000 no 30,000 so 140 143 comes out to be 31,000 one super boxer comes out to be a uh, hundred thousand so I I just wasn't expecting these guys to do that well honestly let's clear this up all right so let's try I don't know I didn't get really to try the poacher I have a feeling in order to make this a fair fight, there's going to need to be at least 50 of these poachers. I have no clue what they do. They look like normal archers, kind of. So, there's 50. Yeah, these guys just look like normal archers, kind of. What, what, what's up with these? Oh! Oh, they shoot faster than a normal archer. I think the super boxers got this though, unfortunately. Wow. Okay, so yeah, super boxer is insane. Just absolutely crazy. I mean, are they gonna win? How low is the super box here? Uh, not low enough. Because all of these guys are about to get demolished. Yeah, I think this is a yikes for red team. Oh! What? What in the world did this guy get the last shot off? Oh my god, this one dude got the latest possible shot off right at the head. That is incredible. Oh my god, okay. So, these guys, 50 of these guys versus a super boxer, I mean, it does something. It definitely does something, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god, okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, any more of that, then that would have been a sweep, basically, if I put, like, 100 of those, or, like, I guess, like, even 75. I feel like that would have been a really clean sweep. So, up next, right, because we have the time, let's go ahead and put the Super Boxer up against, let's do the Reaper. Because the Reaper has always been a, ever since the Spooky Faction came out, the Reaper has been an incredibly overpowered unit. So, I kind of want to try him out. Maybe I could try, like, all of the OP units of every faction versus the Super Boxer. That could be pretty cool. But for now, let's see what the Reaper can do. I feel like if the Reaper gets hit... I was right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, if the Reaper gets hit, the whole thing with the Reaper is he's incredibly strong. But if the Reaper gets hit by another strong unit, it just dies. It, it gets demolished. So, let's grab the strongest unit of every faction. 
Should we grab the strongest or the most expensive? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll decide. I'll decide for the most part. But, yeah. Anyways, we're going to go off and just get the craziest stuff. Okay, so this is a little unfair. So, what I'm going to do to even this out a little bit is I'm going to put... Mm, I don't know if I'm going to like doing this, but... I'm gonna put two more super boxers. Cause I have no. Let's see how one super boxer does. Let's just see how this works. Okay, so off the bat, there's gonna be a lot of damage done to the super boxer because of the sword casters and Zeus. But I think I don't know. I, I think there's a good chance that. I genuinely believe that there is a decent chance that the super boxer might just make it out of here alive. Even though these are all the strongest units. Why is there so much motion blur? This is weird. I don't have motion blur on. <laughs> this is weird. This is really weird. I genuinely don't have motion blur on in my settings, so. Okay, so red did win. So that was a bit of a a bit of an overkill, I would say. Putting all of the most powerful units together. Uh, real quick, let me just make sure. Uh, let's go... Da, 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 da. Yeah, my motion blur is literally off. This, this update added motion blur when there's not supposed to be motion- Okay, this is weird, but, uh... Let's actually- I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see. Let's add two more super boxers. Because that was kind of overkill. For a red team. So I guess you don't need 300 000, You don't need 100,000 in order to have, like, an extremely overpowered and strong team. Which, yeah, makes sense. Um, let's get into it. Okay, so it's three super boxers versus two, two woolly mammoths, uh, two long ships, two da Vinci tanks, uh, two square crows, a reaper, which is still alive. The reaper is still alive and kicking. So did, so is the sword caster, which is actually surprising. Oh, not anymore, because that super boxer just came in to demolish it. I have no clue what's actually happening right now. Yo, Red got the dub. Okay, all uh, right. Hey. Who did the final kill? Or like, I have no clue. Zeus looked like he just did like the ultimate kill. Also, the super boxer's gloves come off. It's interesting to see. Cause they don't just die with their gloves on; they lose their gloves. That's kind of cool. All right. Well. I'm actually going to end it here, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, it's totally accurate battle simulator. Hit the like button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, Bye-bye.